Hello everybody, welcome to one of my videos. Today we're playing on the CD32. As you can see by the screen, we are playing a tremendous game. This is Rishu R. Came out in 2019, created by Richard Lowerston. Now quite a lot of people have requested this. Unfortunately had a few delays, but today is the day. Let's do a long play of it, and I cannot wait because it's a tremendous game. They've done an awesome job. And this is Rishu R. This is Gorgeous Games. Let's go. Okay, level one is the first resort. And this is the start of the game. This is Reshoot R on the CD32. You are a space pilot. A star storm got hold of your R1 spaceship and sent you far away into the universe. Darkness, unconsciousness, then recover. You realize you got lost in an unknown territory. Star constellation indicates that you might have entered the TARS space nebula. Home of the evil TARS fleet. You have to fight to survive again. This is a tremendous game. Came out on the A1200, 4000, and CD32 in 2019. I'm playing this on the CD32. I'm not using a CD32 pad, I'm using a zipstick joystick. This is tremendous. Absolutely tremendous game. Created by Richard Lowerston, music and sound effects by Adam Morton, and pixels by Kevin Saunders. Now, this is the sequel to the original reshoot, which I do also own on my CD32. As unfortunately, I've never actually completed it before, as of today. And the reason why is because that version, as much as it was fantastic, did have a horrible bug. A bug that actually made your spaceship blow up for no reason. However, I'm not going to give up. One day I will achieve it. But this version is so much better. And I've worked the absolute socks off with this game. Everything about it is tremendous. At the moment, I've got the high score already. Now, you start the game with very, very basic firepower. Now, in Reshoot 1, you start your game off as a cube. This one is more of a diamond shape, and there is our pilot. Seeking Wisdom, suddenly attack. That is who we're controlling in the R1 spaceship. And Jamie is an R1, not an R9. And there is the big bad boss, whose name is Tarjan. Foolish human, die in my soulless mists of misery. Now he'll give you lots and lots of challenges, and this is the first. Now in the first game, you have basic firepower, and I think it's just one single level, and no bosses. However, I'm not sure, but we haven't got far enough to find out. That is probably wrong. Probably, there probably is a boss. Now this game has five levels, and each level does have boss battles. But the biggest change of all is the weapons. In the first game, all you got was a single laser. This time, we get additional speed and additional bullets. Now at the start of the game, your spaceship will start off blue. Weapon. The more weapons you pick up, the more speed ups you pick up will change the colour of your spacecraft. When you are yellow, which I currently am now, I'm actually maxed out. Now each time you collect additional weapons, that actually allows you to take another hit. If you take a hit at the very start of the game, you're going to die with one hit. Every time you take a hit when you've got weapons and speed ups, it actually takes one speed up away and one power up away. So if you want to survive, keep topping up your weapons, even though you're maxed out or not. And you'll know when you're maxed out because A, your spacecraft will go yellow, and two, the lady will say so. Right, at the moment, it, gameplay is currently halted because we are being attacked by loads and loads of asteroids. Luckily, I've got the maximum firepower and the maximum speed. Which is fantastic. However, they do take quite a lot of hits though, even this. Now your score is at the top right, so that's your multiplier, and your actual score is down the bottom right as well. Now just to the left of your score plus five is actually your weapons as well. That also tells you if your weapons are maxed out or not. The icons are incredibly small. Right, we continue on. Now the first game came out in August 2016 and production for this one started in late July 2016 and has done an absolutely amazing job. Now this is the signature version I bought. I could not wait to buy it and I just had to buy the best version. And I'm glad I bought the best version. Right, so now we have new enemies. Now these enemies shoot like there's no tomorrow. In fact, quite a lot of enemies do shoot like there's no tomorrow. No. Now you can hit the terrain as well. Sometimes it's quite difficult to tell which one is hittable and which ones is not. The purple ones are not. You're safe from those. The grey ones are rocks. Rock lines and rocks. Now if you if you destroy the whole chain of enemies, you do get additional chain bonus. Max. Only if you kill all of them. Sometimes it's 20 and sometimes it's 50. I guess it depends on the size. The enemies. 
Right, this is a good start. But this level does have a boss which is not far away. The last level, which is level 5, has multiple bosses. One level at a time, Jamie. At the moment, all is good. Got the maximum weapons, Max. maximum speed up. Max. Max. Right. Escalation. Return of the escalation, which also features in the first game. That actually tells you that a boss is on the horizon. However, I am ready. Weapon wise, I am ready. Bring it on. Really, really good boss battle as well. So challenging as well. Right, this one looks like a rock. A rock with a tail, which is also made of rocks and two tentacles. Now, those two tentacles have eyeballs. They shoot from. Let's just make it a tad more bit difficult. We have more rocks or asteroids, whatever we want to call them, falling from the top. There we go. End of the first level. Start off. And we got a big explosion, and I've got maximum weapons. So we cannot argue with that. On we go to level two. Level two is the Epidian Sun. Here we go. Weapon. Now, something that's quite rare for shoot 'em ups. You start the game with basic weapons, and you start the game. Sorry, you start each level with basic weapons. So, whatever you have at the end of the level, you don't take Weapon. on to the next level. However, you do get them back quite Speed quickly. Up. As you can see, I'm not quite maxed out yet because my spacecraft is green and not yellow. If it was yellow, I'd be maxed out. Oh, it's not a bad thing, starting the game, starting each Speed level up. off with bases again. It keeps the player on their toes. Right. Irin survived, but what threat did she encounter? Well, we heard we've had a boss already. I am the Tar. You won't survive my Son of Sorrow. We enter the Son of Sorrow. Again, an absolutely stunning looking stage. There are five levels in total. This is level two. Now this game was created using Max. modern software tools and Deluxe Paint. And did an absolutely amazing job. Right, now we've been attacked by lots and lots of asteroids again. But luckily, the stage does contain areas where you actually are safe. And if the asteroids hit them, it blows them up. You don't earn points that way, but at least we remain, we fight to re remain, we fight to live another day, Jamie. Okay, we're going to just outtake already. So I'm safe down here for now. Now also, I've got to mention, this game is just the one life. However, if you get to level three, you do actually then get a continue. But from level 1 to 2, if you die, you go back to the very, very start of the game. In fact, you go back to the credits. The title screen. However, every time you use a credit, your score is then reset. Max, Max. Now these rocks, some of them are actually connected to the stage, and they have tentacles. And on the end of those tentacles are eyeballs. And those eyeballs actually shoot at you. Now you have to shoot the base of the enemy to kill the enemy. Max. Not the eyeball. Can be a bit tough at times, especially if there's rocks in the way. Those enemies feature up throughout, and later on they do get a weapon upgrade. Max. Right, so spacecraft is maxed out. However, I'm still going to take them anyway. Whether it helps the points, I'm not sure. It could do. Now the bullets in this game are very, very similar to what featured in the first game. But they're not as mean, because in the first game the bullets actually disappeared or go off the screen and come back onto the screen. Even though the screen does fill up very, very quickly with bullets, these don't disappear. Because I wasn't convinced in the first game that when those bullets actually disappeared, whether they were gone gone. I still think they were present. Like I said, it had that really bad bug. 
Now, Richard Lowison also developed games in the 1980s on the C64, including the Do uh, Persian Golf Inferno and Twinkie Goes Hiking, which is Firebird software. Okay. And he was also involved with the Joker magazine as well, the Amiga one. Okay, so far, so good. Spacecraft is maxed out, and we have maximum speed. So at the moment, I can take the maximum hits. Right, these enemies will shoot three bullets. And these can also appear from behind you. Now, these two guns we picked up are very, very handy. It's a shame that the first game didn't have extra weapons. The first game was really, really good as well. There is a video on my channel of me unboxing it and trying it out, but that unfortunately was not a completion that day. One day, hopefully. Now, when I first played this, I thought this was actually the second boss. It's not. Fly around it. Hitting the stage will also kill you. I mean, even with the maximum weapons, you might survive, you might not. Do the sensible thing and go around this. The enemies will appear from behind. Luckily, there's plenty of areas where we are safe. Now, my aim today for this long play is to try and complete it with no deaths. Nah. That is my, uh, my, my goal, my aim, my achievement. The best go I've had so far is I've completed it with one death. I died on the fourth level. After reaching level 3, you do get continues. It will give you the option to hold the fire button down, and if you do that, you actually continue from the start of the level you died on. Escalation. But I don't want to do that, because I don't want to lose my score. Right, we have no escalation. Max. 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 Max, 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 max. Right, next boss. Right, we've got to shoot the two areas above it and below it. But watch out for the big, huge, massive laser. Deadly laser. These bosses do have a lot of firepower. This one is probably the easier one of all of them. I haven't been hit by that laser before. That'll probably kill you straight away, I imagine. So once you kill the two areas, the head in the centre will destroy. There we go. And then we go through the tunnel. And I'm really, really hoping this game doesn't crash on me, because it has a few times. I think my Mega CD32 might need recapping. Level 3 is the Skies of Hybris. Okay, another fantastic stage, and again we started off with basic firepower, and very, very basic speed. However, Speeder. we changed it already. Now this is another really, really good level. The problem with this level is the clouds. Speeder. What I mean by that is Weapon. sometimes your bullets, or their bullets should we say, blend in with the clouds. Sometimes it's quite difficult to see. But taking nothing away from the level itself, it is fantastic. Now I am close to death. My spacecraft is actually blue. And when you're blue, you're close to death. I need to get some power-ups ASAP. I'm avoiding these crazy things. These really do have crazy firepower. Quite difficult to dodge. Right, I reached the beautiful planet. A shelter, finally. Speed up. Right, collected some weapons, so now we'll last a little bit longer. However, it's not quite enough yet. I find the best way is to go round them and then go back on yourself. Because that's some serious firepower. Speed up. And also, when you take a hit, Weapon. the screen will shake. It gives a disturbance in the picture quality. Weapons. Speed up. Right, we're getting Weapon. there slowly. There's my phone. Right, we've got our two additional bullets. Now you can get one more power. Add some more power or speed to it, one of the two. You're not maxed up yet. That's my phone again. I can't answer messages at the moment. I'm trying to do this awesome game. Right, lots and lots of enemies. Now do occasionally throw the weapon amongst all this. There we go. 
maxed. Right, the weapon is now maxed out. We've turned yellow. Right, now we have these blocks. Now, some of these blocks are destroyable. Not all of them. My phone is going crazy. Now, the ones that you can destroy are actually flash. But later on, we actually do the same thing, but at a more fast pace. Now, with this weapon, should be a breeze. So, shoot the one that's flashing. So this is level 3 of 5. This one's a little bit of banana skin for me. Sometimes I do die here. But this game is auto fire. Very, very handy. Max. Right, we've maxed out on the weapons fund. The lady confirmed that. Oh, she's saying that it's maxed out, or she's telling her son to tidy his room. <laughs> Max. 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 Tidy room. Max. Okay. Max. Whoa, somebody hit me there. No mind, it's fine. Speed up. Weapon. Back to yellow again. Max. It doesn't sound like a, a mum trying to get her son's attention, who's called Max. Okay. These levels really, really, really do look stunning. Max. These are difficult enemies as well. I'm just about to say, kill them quick, because that's what it's homing on you. Not once, not twice, three times. Four times! And they disappear. But those bullets actually do look like the ones in Reshoot. Because in Reshoot 1, they actually do Max. go off the screen. And you think they're gone, but they're not. They come back onto the screen. Max. And that's usually what gets me. Well, at the moment, CD32 is behaving itself. This has crashed on me a few times. Whether it's down to the disc, I don't know. i I got a funny feeling it could be... My CD32 need recapping. One of my friends did say that. I think he's right. Okay. Escalation. Third escalation. Very need to a hit there. Max. 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 Yeah, max out. More crazy bullets. Worry about this is not the main boss. This this one can be difficult again with the clouds. Bullets didn't see. Right, we've got to shoot the area that is rotated. However, it's not available to shoot at all the time. When it opens, then it shoots it. However, when it opens, he shoots also. And another fantastic boss battle. The graphics in this game is amazing. Now, Jamie, what you should really do for this long play is, while you're not actually shooting anything, stop shooting. That way, you can actually hear the music. The music is stunning. And the sound he makes, he sounds angry. He sounds really cross. I'm not surprised. There has been a few occasions in the past on previous goes where I've actually taken so much damage on boss battles that I've actually gone back to basics. But I managed to survive. The only time you destroy the boss, the stage destroys. It obliterates. Level 4, the Ocean of Silk. Cue the music once again. Okay. Once again we start off weaponless. Speed up. Apart from the basics. Now we're in the water. It's very, very painfully slow when you enter each level. When you're really, really slow like that, it makes getting weapons more difficult to reach. Because when you're going backwards, you don't actually move as fast as if you're going forwards. 
these chains do take a lot of hits. When you kill one of them, it kills the whole pack. But this one actually has enemies on the surface that also fire at you. Right, more asteroids, but this time they're in the water. This weapon at the moment is very weak indeed. We're getting there. Slowly we're getting there. At the moment my spaceship is green. So it's not maxed out yet. Right, we search the depth of Planet Tars for salvation. Ah, your hopes will drown in my ocean of obey. So this is the ocean of obey. They're very chaotic, the one it is too. Luckily, we have the two additional guns. You earn chain bonuses. And earn some serious score. I think you can upload. Max. On the global high score. Right. There's more of these, but now they're shooting missiles. However, I think you can shoot the missile bullets. I'm sure you can. these crazy things. I don't know what they are. But the, the, the work, the time, the effort they put into everything. You know, the boss battles, the, the enemies, the backgrounds, the surface, the spaceship, everything is absolutely amazing. Each enemy looks tremendous. Max. Right. We have one more level after this. Max. Which is a very, very difficult level. Right, we have these enemies on the surface. They're like big bugs. Oh, they're like snails. Never actually killed one before. They take a lot of hits. Every, every enemy does have a weakness. These missiles will follow you around. Suddenly change direction. Max. It's going well, Jamie. I'm actually working Max. later on today, so I've got to do this game quickly. Max. Max. We're in long players on a late shift. Never a good thing. Unfortunately, I did get a delay for this long play. Uh, my first version I had, I, I bought, had actually a faulty disc. However, the team did an actually tremendous job in getting me a replacement. I emailed them, they responded very, very quickly, and they sent me a new disc, free of charge, free postage. Cannot argue with that. And it's absolutely tremendous. You can't ask better than that, now can you? Hopefully one day I'll try and complete the first game. Max, this game is Max. not as difficult as the first one. But then if you didn't have the extra hits and extra weapons, it probably would be. Max, Max, Max. Escalation. Right, escalation. We're going well, Jamie. This is a difficult boss. This is the one I've died on the most. It's not the boss itself, it's the firepower on the rock. There are these two on the rock. It's one top, one bottom. That's what tends to get me most of the time. However, if you shoot them, it does stop their shooting for a short time. However, I've taken a hit. Now, the area you got to shoot on this boss is very, very minimal. It's his mouth. And unfortunately, I've lost my two guns. Now I'm even slower. Whoa! I don't know how I did that, but I did that. Even with really, really basic weapons. The place destroys. I might do this today with no deaths. It's doable. Level 5 is the Factory of Thunder. The final level now. Cue the music once again. This game has tremendous music. Right, I'm lucky to get away with that. Put me to die there. On that boss. Now this level Weapon. is really difficult. Do I really need to tell you? It's pretty self-explanatory. We have these rocks. 
I assume they're rocks going from side to side. That really does make your vision very difficult, especially with enemy bullets. So, I guess keep moving around. If you keep low, I suppose your vision isn't taking away quite as much because the rocks aren't as thick. Right, Amy had no choice. She had to fight the TARS master. Now, this level actually has three bosses. In fact, it's the, three, it's the same boss, but he tries three times. You fall! My fracture will seal your fate. Well, we should seal that. That, that won't be. Again, weapons. It's quite slow. These blocks you can blow up. Not all of them, only some of them. Then you get smaller copies. This is his factory. An interesting factory. A moment, I haven't maxed out, but, I haven't, but I'm not the basic either. Weapon. Making good progress. A few more, we should be right. At the moment, my R1 is green. Yellow is what you want, blue is what you want to avoid. Blue is close to death. This is very difficult because your visibility speed up very much reduced. And then we'll take a hit and there's a power up just nearby. You should be able to get upgraded back to what you were quite quickly. Max. And when you hear that max, that's a great feeling. Escalation. Right, this is the first appearance of the boss. However, I've got maximum bullets, maximum speed. C32, please, please don't crash on me. Right, again, very similar to the one we saw earlier. But with those clouds, or rocks, whatever you want to call them, going from left to right, very difficult to see the bullets. Now, that area that's opening up, that's the area you got to shoot, but it's not open all the time. Right, my hands are now starting to shake because I really want to try and complete this with no deaths. That would be my best ever. Achievement. It's very difficult to avoid. There we go. He makes a loud scream. He's in pain. However, he's not done and dusted yet. All these blocks. And move with them. Luckily, these ones don't fire at you. Other ones do. Down there's a weapon. Never mind. I won't get it this time. All number one. Stay alive. Your factory is Max. being destroyed by my escalation. bullets. Second escalation, second boss. Well, it's the same boss. And now he's got different weapons. This is probably the most difficult of the, of the three. This is evil scatter shot. And when he's firing, that's the only time you can fire at him. Take any risk, Jamie. Dive for cover. What is tail, though? Focusing on those rocks. I don't really sort of look at the boss very much. Just focusing on those rocks. Are quite easy to lose track of where you are and where the bullets are. Right. He'll be back. That's what Arnold Schwarzer used to say in the Terminator. He'll be back. Come on, Am come on Amiga CD32. Don't let me down. Don't crash on me now. We're so close. We are very, very close now. Right. 
And like those asteroids in the first level, they'll fall down and they'll hit the surface and they'll destroy. So it does me a favour. These bullets are actually bigger. It does actually help that they're bigger. Because being bigger, they're also a tad slower. Speed out of the hit there. So I'm getting my weapons back. Luckily, there's plenty of them around. Just in time for the final boss. Back for the third and final time. Not far away. Final stages of his factory. But again, like the first level, the screen is haunted temporarily. Just so we can destroy his factory even more. Just let him know we're here. Whoa, I was about to say, watch out for those. Jamie, close calls. We're not maxed out now, though. Any more weapons? I hope so. Alright, Jamie, you're not maxed out. You are not maxed out. This is the final boss. Hands are shaking. <laughs> now he's firing missiles at me. Focus, Jamie, focus. And shoot that error. It's very, very minimal. Another hit. Uh oh, Mayday. Not basic yet, but not far away. That was close. The paint work off. Come on, Jamie, we're so close! Oh, that's such a nice feeling. Hands are shaking. Very much so. Please die now. Please die now. Die, die, die. Please. Yes, yes, baby. Done it. No death. Woohoo! I'm happy with that! Brilliant! What a game! Superb game! That is the end of the game, people! Once again, the stage explodes! Whew! I've still got time to have some lunch and get ready for work. There we go! Richard would like to thank the following people, without whom Reshoot R and its soundtrack would never have been possible. Right, unfortunately, people, the game has just crashed. It's crashed on the credits. Um. Oh, it's cr I can't believe it's crashed! Have some of that! Woo! There we go. Oh yes, baby! Oh, I'm kidding. Ooh. Too close. Prove my high score. There we go! I've done it again, and this time I got an even higher score. Don't crash! Please don't crash! Please, please don't crash! Don't crash! There we go! I did it again because it crashed the last time. Richard would like to thank the following people without whom Reshoot R and its soundtrack would never have been possible. Kevin Saunders for being a great guy and the fabulous retro pixel artist. Martin Armand for your for high quality audio and that really makes the game shine. Oliver 
the pixel that makes a difference. I can't read that quickly. I can't read that. Survey for invariable coding. No. I can't read that quickly, but there we go. I've done it for a second time. And this time we're going to see the full outro, the full credits. And I've got a much better score this time. There we go. Fantastic game. Really, really tip top game. Loved adoring Clara and my dad. You were my motivation. Special applause must go to the Patreons. And some of those I do know. Some of them are subscribers on my own channel. So, fantastic. And thank you to the Patreons for supporting this fantastic development. Thank you for playing Reshul R. What a big, 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 big thank you for creating it. You've done a tremendous job. There we go. We saw the full credits that time. There we go. Even though I did make a little bit of meal of it. There we go. That is my all-time best score. That's going to take some beating. There we go. Enter initials. I will indeed. Qualify for Global Hero Table. And there is my high score. A much better high score to the one I had in second place. And that is a much better end of this video as well. And that is Reshoot Art on the CD32. A fantastic game. Came out in 2019. And this is Jamie from August Games. Please like, please comment, please share. And please do subscribe to my channel. I have a Facebook fan page. I'm on Instagram. Also on Twitch. Just type in Morgan Just Games. You should find it fairly easily. And please remember to click on the bell icon. That will notify you when your videos upload. It'll be fantastic. We're not doing these sort of videos. I do have a big making and live streams every Friday night at UK time at 8 o'clock. It's hard up my week. Until next time, take it easy. Ciao, bye. See ya. When I, do, when I get nervous, my hands do shake. That's very, very normal for me. Trouble is, I was trying to do it with no deaths. There's so many subscribers have wanted me to do a long play of this. And, uh... Fantastic. Level one is the first. My phone's going crazy today. We shoot R is a brand new shooter up for the A1200 at 4,000 CD32 in 2019. I just read that twice. <clears throat> I can't read that and that. No, I can't read that and play that. Right, Jamie. <clears throat> right, you got a problem here. You've got statistics, which are all over the place. But you've got to watch the screen as well. How am I going to read the screen? We are an R9, an R9, and I have to fight to survive again. Right, my score is still off the screen. It's TARS, not STARS. What is in STARS? Right. Which is why my spaceship is yellow. And it's crashed. There we go. It's crashed, it's crashed, it's crashed. I just realised something. Because it's crashed on the credits, I can't put my high score in. Right, I've just been to work. <laughs> I've decided I'm going to redo it again. I can't end it like that. We've got to get the proper outro. I'm not doing these sort of videos. I do retro long plays. This is a retro long play. Sort of, I guess, isn't it? It's retro, sort of. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. Well, Jamie, you messed that by that, that didn't you? Jamie, don't make too many mistakes. This can crash on the title screen. It's happened before. And then... Jamie, you messed up again! All we got to do is to say the outro. But sometimes that can be quite difficult. Oh, okay, fair news. I was actually doing the editing and I thought, Jamie, you can't end it on that. You can't end a stunning game like this with a crash screen. You can't do it. It's crashed! <laughs> it's crashed! Oh dear, I really do think my CD32 needs recapping. That's a job for the future. There we go. One thing I don't want to do is lose that high score table. Save.